Dr. Hazel Dabrio, psychotherapist by profession. And Dr. Dabrio is here with me this morning just to speak on, you know, a few things when it comes to your mental state. Um, how, how does one deal with uh, tragedy and maintaining a certain balance when it comes to whether it's positive thinking, whether it's, you know, just taking time to mend yourself on a on a psychological level. Right. Yeah. And right. but it's good to see you. Good to I'm see so you. Happy too. that you're back here. I like and the new hair Oh, thank Very you. Pretty. Thank you, thank you. You <laughs> say, Oh, you look like a more mature person. Oh. I'm like, well, maybe that's the whole Oh, <laughs> listen, we need to focus <laughs> so you're not gonna get carried away. But Dr. Dabrio, I know there's been quite a lot of negative uh, energies that's that the whole year has started off with negative notes in terms of our social environment in terms of the tragedies uh, suicides murders etc <sighs> could we start from that whole angle um as as a people how um, you know a lot of people were very distraught <clears throat> um, a lot of people thought you know my god grenada is sinking where are we gonna go I'm scared to go to bed with my lights off. I want to leave the lights on or, you know, I can't trust the person who's walking in the street if they look a certain way. I think a lot of people were on edge as a result of these things that were happening. Um, a lot of people were also concerned in particular with the young man um, and the suicidal uh, incident. Firstly, I, what are your thoughts on, on these occurrences well um, as you said energies and or people or culture occurrences it reminded me of something I want to say now mm -hmm. which is um, often when people are faced with things that are tragic yeah. hurtful apparently negative and that you can't explain but which make you feel so badly mm -hmm. Um, it happens all over the world, but I must say that I've noticed it more in yeah. Grenada because it is perhaps a bit of our culture that sometimes people are all too quick to say it must be the spirits. Mm, yes. I'm and glad you that. someone must be in possession of a bad spirit. Mm -hmm. um, and I have spent a lot of time in the rural districts of late. Um, where simple people are um, asking my assistance in driving out perhaps bad spirits in their home or mm. among their family. So I have to say that as a psychotherapist, I don't know anything about right. uh, spirits. Yeah. That is somebody else's job. But what I do know is that most of the time when I am told that someone is possessed by something evil, it simply means that they're going through a very, very difficult, traumatic time. Mm -hmm. Either it's a depression or a fear or an extreme grieving, maybe a physical illness that they're not able to understand or throw off. And it seems to have them in the grip. And in fact, depression, anger, fear can appear to have you in its grip. And sometimes you need help in just releasing the tentacles of those bad feelings from around you. Mm. So I just, I just wanted to throw in that often people look to an external yes, reason. Yes. It must be this, that, the spirit, mm -hmm. the, the boss, the war. Mm -hmm. And we very often can return ourselves to equilibrium um, emotionally by paying attention to what is inside of us. Right. And uh, um, Native Canadians, and there is one in particular called Peace Sky, who is a bit of a psychologist. And one of the things he urges is take responsibility for your imperfections as mm. a way to positive thinking. Mm. Now, if you were to embrace imperfection, it seems to not be positive, but it is. And if you consider that um, a lot of us live in shame-based teachings mm -hmm. 
I don't think our parents meant any harm, but how many of us have heard, you should be ashamed to be seen in public like that. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed to go out with your hair like that. I, I got that one all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so often we learn from a sense of what, we, what we're going to be ashamed of, yeah. rather than what is adventuresome, creative, yeah. dynamic. Yeah. Um, and if you are accustomed to um, pacing yourself based on how other people see you, then the minute public opinion falls, you feel really bad inside. So true. And how do you recover from that until public opinion tells you, okay, you're good, the yeah. polls are good, yes. we're going to vote for you again or whatever the case may be. Can that possibly be the only uh, meter that you have for gauging your wellness? Mm -hmm. Can't be. So back to the self and um, as the natives say, taking responsibility for your own imperfections. Um, because if you do, I know I'm not the, um, the best at math. Yeah. Are you? No. <laughs> hey, look what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> right? What? I don't think so. <laughs> right. Um, just acknowledge, and this is not negative, it is not sort of confessing that you're weak or giving up on yourself it's just taking like a that. realistic um, kind view yeah you know and once you 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 get to know yourself better you can allow yourself to be fearless and free, in who, and free. And free. fearless and free in yeah. who you are yeah. rather than always trying to meet somebody else's mm -hmm.